When specific wavelengths of red or near-infrared light penetrate your skin, the energy is absorbed by the mitochondria inside your muscle cells. You can think of mitochondria as the batteries of your cells. They're responsible for making ATP, which is your body's energy currency. By stimulating these mitochondria, red light therapy is thought to boost ATP production, reduce oxidative stress, and promote better cellular repair. A new meta-analysis pulled together data from 14 randomized controlled trials looking at red light therapy in high-level soccer and volleyball players. The researchers focused on three main outcomes, muscle strength, muscle endurance, and markers of muscle damage. When they measured maximum voluntary contraction, the amount of force an athlete can generate, red light therapy didn't make too much of a difference. In other words, it didn't actually make athletes stronger. But where things looked more promising was endurance. Volleyball players who used red light therapy before exercise were able to complete more repetitions before fatigue set in, and this suggests it can help delay muscle fatigue. When it came to creatine kinase, or CK, this is a marker of muscle damage, soccer players who received red light therapy had significantly lower levels after training or games, and this points to less muscle breakdown after red light therapy. My take on this is if you have the budget and enjoy experimenting, Red light therapy can be a useful recovery tool. I work with both high-level athletes and weekend warriors who swear by their devices and feel they make a difference. But if you're deciding where to invest your time and your money, the fundamentals, good sleep, solid nutrition, and smart training are still the recovery strategies that deliver the biggest payoff.